Welcome back to my next playthrough series. Yes, it's back to Terraforming Mars solo, because that's the way I like to play it. And no, I do not have the Atama that has come out for this. I'm kind of curious about it, but I do generally just like playing this with the regular solo mode that comes in the box. Uh, basically, I've done it, I think, three or four times already on my channel. So we're going to be doing it again. Uh, so I've already got things set up, and I, do, I did go ahead and get the 3D printed... Uh, little tiles that you can get for the game. They're really nice. Uh, I kind of, I don't know. Don't, do you need them? No. I should have got the trays for the uh, for your corporation card. Speaking of corporation cards, first thing you do is you shuffle up. I've already done that. You grab two corporations. These are two I have not played before. So we have Tharsis Republic or we can play Saturn Systems. Uh, you start with one titanium production. You start at 42 uh, mega credits. Or the Tharsis is you start with 40 mega credits as your first action in the game, place a city tile. City tiles don't tend to do a heck of a lot for our soul. You know, I think I might go with Saturn. I, think we're, I don't know. We, we need to draw 10 cards, take a look at them, and then we decide which corporation to go. And that's how you're supposed to do the setup. So I have shuffled this gargantuan deck of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to take a look at them quickly and see um, what we see. Biomass, ice cap melting. Oh, I love that. Open city. We probably don't need great dam. And we have to buy these cards too. So, uh, ooh, fusion power. Titanium, or... Uh, Steel, right? Steel and titanium. This is steel. Uh, advanced alloys. We have... Boy, we need lots of steel production and imports from Europa. Anyway, that's what we have. So let me do some brain burning on my own here. We'll come back and we'll decide which corporation we're going to start with. All right, so as you probably gathered from the title of, uh, of the series, we are going to be going with Saturn Systems. We're starting with 42 mega credits uh, and one titanium production. Uh, and it says, each time you play a Jovian tag into play, including this one, your mega production increases by one. And I'm going to keep these three cards, and that's going to cost us three uh, mega credits each to keep them. So let's just zoom down here. I'll show you a little bit about this before we get into generation one. All right, so we will be keeping these three cards. That's going to cost us nine mega credits to do so. So 10, one back. We've got 33 mega credits left. All right, we're beginning generation one, and it means the first thing we do is grab four cards off the top of the giant stack. One, two, three, four, and we're going to see if we want to keep any of them for three mega credits a piece. Optimal arrow breaking. Uh, ooh, it uh, can be paid for with titanium. When you play a space event, you gain three mega credits and three heat. Um, okay, a strip mine minus two energy, giving you two iron production and a titanium. Ooh, but 25, I don't know if we're going to get there. Bushes minus 10. Gain two plants and get two plant production. Minus 10 C, that's a long ways, but you know what? That might be a good one to hang on to. And the water splitting plant is nice because you can increase your oxygen by spending three energy. Uh, we need two aquifers down to put this into play and you can use iron. Oh man, some of these are good, but I just don't know if it's gonna, if we wanna spend three a piece because I really kind of want to play down my import water this turn from Europa. Um, so I think we're not going to keep any of them. Oh, I know. Painful, painful decisions. Okay, uh, let's begin then. I have to figure out what we're playing for cards or whether we're doing anything else. And then, yeah, we'll see what we're going to do. And of course, this is one of the harder uh, <laughs> corporations to use as symbol. There's a little symbol here. Uh, these are for advanced players only. Well, it's the fourth time we're playing this game, so we'll call ourselves advanced. I think I am going to go ahead and play this card down. Uh, it's going to cost us 25 mega credits. Now we could spend titanium, but of course we don't have any. So 25, so that's going to leave us eight. But we get to play this down, and now from now on, as one action, once per generation, we can spend 12 mega credits to put an aquifer down. Uh, 
instead. And you can use titanium to, to help pay for this. So that's a really good action for us to have. So we're setting ourselves up for the future. Well, it's doing nothing for us right now, basically. Um, and we have, uh, we have eight mega credits left. And we really can't do anything with it. So uh, we did nothing on Mars at all this generation. But it is the first generation, so let's not get too bent out of shape yet. And now we're into the production phase, so let's zoom down here and do our production. All right, generation one production. Do we have any energy to convert to heat? Nope. And all right, mega credits. We are sitting at 14, plus one is 15. So we will be gathering 15 mega credits. That sounds pretty horrible. But there we go, 50 mega credits. No iron production. Yes, we do have one titanium production. So now we have one titanium. No plant production, no energy production, and no heat production. All right, that was our first generation. Now we're going to generation two. And generation two, yep. Four cards off the top of the deck. Where did I grab? One, two, three, four, I grabbed five. Do we want to spend three for any of these? The Vesta Shipyard. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Already I forgot. So we should have one more mega credit. Each time uh, you play the Jovian Tag, uh, increase mega production uh, in by one. So we did place this Jovian Tag down. So we're actually at two mega production. Already messing up. So we would get one extra mega credit. Ooh. So this might be a good one to keep. Increase your titanium production one step. I... I'm liking that. Okay, I'm going to think about that one. What do we got here? Commercial district minus an energy plus four mega credits. We have no energy production. We need something that gives us energy. Asteroid mining. Increase your titanium production two steps. Oh, those are both Jovian. Mole hole area four. Increase your production four steps. Place this on the reserved area uh, for an ocean. Oh man, four heat production. Uh, ooh, well, we're definitely not getting commercial district. Oh man, okay, let me, I have to agonize now. I really, really need to do some agonizing. I like having the Jovian ones for increasing our mega credit production. Um, let me see if I want to buy those. And I'll come right back. Okay, I am going to keep all three of these. That sounds like a lot. That's going to cost us nine mega credits. So there's 10. We're going to get one back. And then uh, I'm going to hold off on this one. And then I'm going to spend 12 mega credits to go ahead and activate this. Now we can only activate this once a turn. So I'll put that on there to realize that. So for 12 mega credits, we can put down a water tile. And we're gonna go right ahead and do that. So let's get over to Mars and do something finally. All right, we are placing down our first aquifier, first water tile. And we're gonna place it right here at the Cadador Chasm. That's going to give us two plants, increasing our terraform reading from 14 to 15. All right, two plants and yeah, that's what we get. All right, we get two plants for that, uh, that space. And we've increased our terraform rating to 15. I don't think there's anything else we can do. I think we are done. So if that will come off. We'll be able to use it again next time. And we can sell each one. We can get rid of a card and get one for it. Uh, oh man, I don't know. I like this mole hole. 20. The Great Dam, we need four aquifiers. This, it pumps up our titanium ability. Instead of three, it can be four. I think we've done, we haven't done much at all. We're already into our second generation. I think we're gonna leave it off there. So we're gonna get into our production phase. And then I think we will be done for our episode for today. So let's go ahead and do production. And that was the fastest two generations in the history of ever. Okay, so uh, no, no energy to produce heat. Unfortunately for us, we need to get our temperature up. I don't know how we're going to do this. I, I don't know how. We'll find out. We're, I might fail miserably, but we'll give it a try. All right, starting here. Mega credits. We got three. We have 15. 
plus two, so 17. So we're getting 17 mega credits as our mega credit production. So that's going to give us a total of 20. That doesn't sound so good. Uh, no iron production. We do have a titanium production. And I like that we can use titanium on basically every so we can use titanium on these two cards and every time we use these cards our mega production increases so cool i like it i like how that works okay uh so that there we have no plant production no heat production or no sorry no energy production no heat production wow <laughs> all right uh super quick episode but like i said it, they'll they'll take a little bit longer as we go along uh because i'm going to be doing it's going to take seven episodes to get through our playthrough. I'm doing two generations an episode. We've done one and two. Let's get to the main board and wrap it up for today. All right, well, I think I didn't mess anything up. Again, check the comments. I will see if I can catch things in editing. I think I've got everything under control. <laughs> I've got the game under control. I don't have Mars under control. I don't know. This is going to be brutal. we got 0% oxygen. We're minus 30. And we have one of nine ocean tiles down. We have 12 more generations to pull off a solo win. So I got to get in. Um, I got to get things cranking here as fast as possible. We might want to spend some standard projects to get some power plant production going. Maybe I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna do my best. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, descriptions, and likes. This is terraforming Mars great game it's been out god almost a decade now it's just an awesome game i love it i like this solo i tried the aries one i just I'm, I'm sorry i don't know i just this one i like a lot more than the uh aries so it is what it is some people like aries i like i just i like this one and i like the fact that when you're just playing solo you don't care about milestones or you're just really trying to get this temperature up the oxygen up get down your water tiles and terraform mars and we're doing it with saturn systems which is probably one of the harder ones to do but we're going to give it our best shot so thanks so much hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation terraforming mars we are playing saturn systems and we're going to see if that corporation is going to be able to pull out the win who knows all right thanks for watching along everybody appreciate it hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation